plenty of sunshine today I've decided I'm going to have to unhook the solar panels because obviously I don't want to overload the battery overheat the battery so uh, I'm going to unhook it for a couple of hours and let it rest I didn't think I'd be saying that today but there we go Right, here we are. We're preparing the ground for the new polishing filter that's going to be installed. I think the day after you see this, we're just levelling up an area we're using this laser to make sure the whole area, I think that's 10 metres by 10 metres, and they're levelling it all out. Was it like one of those laser quests where it has like red beams? <laughs> it does have red beams, but they just <laughs> shine it on a pole. Here's the first load of gravel, 10 tonnes, I think, originally. This is like a base gravel, it's a heavy gravel, it's not, it's not necessarily what's going to be used in the polishing filter, it's the underneath and the top. And so just to, be, just to be clear, this whole polishing filter that we're talking about isn't the septic tank. So when the waste and sewage comes out of the house, it firstly goes along pipes to the septic tank, and then when it, the septic tank then sends it to this place right. where it's all this really is, this cleaned. This is a finalised cleansing of the, any Liquid. Liquid that yeah. comes out of the yeah. septic tank. I think it's ninety percent pure by the time it comes out of the out of the tank. I see. And by the time it goes into the filter, gosh, it brings it up to the the think they say you can drink it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. At the very least, it's ninety-seven percent pure water. We'd have our own water cycle, darling, if we just put a tap at the other end. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy that. <laughs> They were originally going to bring a dumper with them for this, but the, it's been raining so hard and the ground was so soft, they thought the dumper would just get stuck. So they had to go up and down the fields with each load. So it just took a little bit longer than we thought. Like, you're like ladling it one spoonful at a it time. It really was. It really was. <laughs> but it looks a nice day there, but... It can change it so quickly. so changeable <laughs> that day. Yeah. I think it's interesting how it looks as though you are going into a swimming pool, on, um, but that's the... It's the ground that slopes. I see. And it's the dark area where they levelled out. This level. Yeah. So that gravel, well some of that gravel goes in first before they, they start building the tank. They call it a tank, it's not a septic tank, it's the filter, it's the walls of the filter. Mm. So this is the kit, it's a modular kit, it comes all in a one metre cube. All the screws, all the bolts, everything that's needed to put this tank together comes on, in, on a pallet. Yeah. And they know exactly where each panel should go to begin with. And it's just to construct it on the level ground. And it's just comes all bolted together. So this chap here, the man in the like wax jacket, the green, the not the not the fluorescent. No, Andrew. That's Andrew who who kind of designed this whole sort of flat not flat pack, I yeah. call it a flat pack, but you yeah. call it a modular system. He was given the task of, of of making it so they can install it anywhere very he designed this modular system. So our system is a six-person system because we have a three-bed. Well, we're going to have a three-bedroom house. So a four-bedroom house, obviously, is an eight-person system. So all they do is just add panels. They can scale it up and down. They can scale it up and yeah. down to whatever they need, yeah. and then they know exactly how much sand and gravel goes in at every stage. Mm -hmm. And if they know they're going to use four extra panels, say, they know they have to order. How yeah. many extra bags of sand? It's like when I'm doing a recipe and I might go up, I might sort of just it's scale, like doing a recipe. scale it up or down. Yeah. yeah. Depending and on the size of cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it gives you the same results every time, you see. If yes. you follow the recipe, you get the same results. Yeah. If 
you can see on there, there are some marks. Marks on the side of the On the, the side of the panel. panels. And yeah. that shows you exactly which lines you fill up to within. Yeah. So you've got two different grades of sand and the gravel. Yeah. And you layer them up very um, specifically. This is the sand being delivered. This is the sand being delivered. It comes on a big low loader. And unfortunately it was too big to get up the, the oh, lane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the... Uh, so these are all the different bags of sand now. The different grades of sand that have to go into the filter. Obviously taking up a lot of road space. It comes on such a big lorry you see they couldn't get up the drive. Yeah. But once again because of the length of the drive getting all the way up to the house it was another long job because each one of those bags is a ton and Dennis's trailer you can see there I think only takes a four ton load so mm -hmm. he was only taking four bags at a time But all the sand came all the way from Roscommon. There's only two quarries in the whole of Ireland right. that can provide the correct grades of sand mm. for these polishing filters. So it's an expensive job because it is an expensive job of where you have to buy it, the transportation costs. Transportation costs, of yeah. Course. But they had to build one of these tanks at the Tricell headquarters and test it for two whole years before they could they got permission to use this system. So it's quite a new system really. And you were saying that Andrew goes and has to attend every installation to make sure that people don't just get the pack and throw everything in in a different way exactly. you know it has to be done yeah. very precisely with because the different layers involved they have, to, they have to write a certificate of compliance yeah because the very strict rules now of, of uh, how clean the water has to be mm -hmm. when it's let out back into the soil and it has to be i think it has to be like 97 percent pure yeah yeah but they reckon this polishing filter will make it 99. And that's with six people using it. I mean, there won't be six people using it where we are. But the panels they actually use, they're, they're made, uh, it's like a fiberglass, but it's, they're made under pressure. I think he was saying the pressure they use to make the, the moulds is 800 pounds per square inch. So yeah. they're really, really, really strong, strong. Really strong. They feel sort of like a plastic, but they're so much stronger than that. They've got like fibres in. And yeah. I mean, just think because there's, there's at least 15 tonnes going in there. Yeah, so it's not so just sort of collapse. So they don't want something that will collapse and <laughs> yeah, yeah, under the under the weight. Strong. Well, what's what's remarkable is you said this this little like I, I was surprised that it was just stood on top of the land. You know, it wasn't they didn't dig down, uh, but you said they will landscape it. Yeah. So that it will just blend, and then it will be covered. No, they'll cover over the top of it. You'll never see it.
Okay. Here's all the pipe work that goes in. So the, from the septic tank, the liquid then, the final bit of liquid is pumped out under pressure into these pipes. All these pipes are perforated. Mm -hmm. And the liquid then will be spread evenly over the whole of the filter. Yeah, I see. And then that will percolate through. Because the reason why it's above the ground is that the base of it has to be at least one meter above the water table. I see. So that's why when we got the planning permission, they had to come and, and dig a test pit yeah. to see where the water was settling. The, the, that's what the hold up in the planning permission that time was because they came and tested it when there was really heavy rainfall. Yes. So they they came and tested it again when it had. And time the water to dry. table was higher than it should have been. When it was wet, to be when but it was when wet. it was wet, yeah. after a dry spell, yeah. it showed that the water was actually going away. And then another topping off of gravel, so they all get buried too. It's like the sprinkles on a cake. <laughs> So when you see the field finished, it'll all, be it'll all just be green, grass, you won't grass. see any of that white box at all. Yeah, it'll all blend seamlessly into the landscape. Yeah. Perfect. And you can see the distance it is from the house. The septic tank will be halfway between the two. Mm -hmm. 